We have new video tonight of a Waffle House robbery that ended with three men on the run and one woman without a job. Now, Heather Birkinshaw Stanley says she was fired from her job as a waitress at the Waffle House on State Route 154 after she fired back against a trio of armed robbers with a warning shot. New video obtained by Fox 5 shows Birkinshaw Stanley chasing after those men as they took off running. Fox 5's Doug Evans live tonight in Coweta County with our story. And Doug, what else does that video show? Well, the video shows the actual robbery, and then it shows the immediate reaction of this waitress. Now, investigators know that there's been an emotional response to what happened to that waitress. She was fired, but they want to turn the focus on to the robbers who got away. You're about to see from surveillance video two of the suspects walk through the door of the Coweta County Waffle House. The third enters about a minute later. None of them pulled a weapon. After eating, one of the men approaches the cash register and hands an employee a note. Passed her a note saying, if you don't give me the money in the register, I'm going to start shooting you and everybody in here. Keep in mind, this is the third time in recent months that this particular Waffle House location has been robbed. A previous robbery was extremely dramatic and dangerous, with an armed man bursting through the door and rifling through the employee's pockets at gunpoint. This time, the men passed the cashier the note, and after getting the money, two of them are seen leaving the restaurant with the loot and, strangely enough, carry out boxes to go. Fled the uh, Waffle House, got me in a uh, tan vehicle, and uh, went toward the interstate. Here are still images of the three men investigators are looking for. They say the man on the right is the one who handed the cashier the note and took the money. He has a distinctive tattoo on his face. He has a tattoo of a cross in between his eyes uh, and between the eyebrows. The robbery has made national headlines for what happened next. The cashier walked away from the register and investigators say she told employee Heather Birkinshaw Stanley the restaurant had just been robbed. Stanley is then seen leaving the restaurant immediately. Investigators say in the parking lot she retrieved a gun from her car and fired a shot at the fleeing robbers. That bullet remains unaccounted for. She says in an online GoFundMe account, Waffle House fired her for that. She's raising money to support her family and has received more than $7,000. Reading all the comments, reactions have been mostly positive. One donor said, quote, you should have been hailed as employee of the year. And among the few negative comments, quote, next time, let them go. As long as you and yours are safe, let the cops clean up the rest. Investigators are not getting into the debate over whether the waitress should have been fired. They say they certainly understand the emotions that caused her to leave the building and go out into the parking lot, but they really warn against that. They say you shouldn't follow the robbers out the door, nor should you fire a shot where you don't know where that bullet may land. In Coweta County Live, I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Thanks, Doug.